Hi, I'm Donna and welcome to my kitchen. Yes, this is my kitchen. It's small, but it's very convenient. The only thing I would wish to have is nice little, uh, nice, not little, big window here to get some uh, sunlight. But other than that, I have no complaints. So today we're going to make uh, something very simple and delicious uh, and budget friendly, shrimp, garlic shrimp. Um, I actually paid in this garlic, uh, in, in the shrimp at Trader Joe's uh, under $10 and it's uh, about a pound. So it will be enough for two people. If you are going to add, uh, to serve it with rice or pasta, maybe it will be enough for four people. So I think it will be under $10 budget. So I'm going to add a lot of garlic to that because it's garlic shrimp and that, that's what gives the dish flavor. And if you have Fresno peppers or any kind of peppers, jalapeno will work, you can add that. And I just happen to have little time at home, so I'm just gonna add that and give additional flavor. Also, it's good with a little bit of paprika. I, okay, I found the paprika. There, we can add, if you don't have any thyme or um, pepper, thyme, 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 thyme or thyme? Thyme. Thyme, okay. <laughs> Then just add paprika. So I saw this, uh, let's start um, and I will tell you the story where I saw this dish. So I'm wearing Anthony Bourdain t-shirt. So this dish, I saw this dish um, one of, in one of his shows when he was, uh, I think in Spain. It was in Spain and uh, he was in the tapas restaurant somewhere in Spain. I don't remember the place. And they just made that and it looked so delicious and so simple. I was like, I have to do that. So yesterday I came home from work and I had some shrimp at home. So I made that yesterday. So and it was fantastic. I served it with rice uh, and I took some pictures and I had two bowls. So that's why I decided to make them today. So the um, important thing is that to make sure that your shrimp is thawed, 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 <laughs> thawed and dry because when you add it uh, with the garlic, um, you don't want, um, how can I explain it? You don't want the moisture from the shrimp to create that liquid and water in your skillet. So make sure that they are well dried so I had them out um, for about two hours so they're pretty well th 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 thawed, thawed. <laughs> thawed. Uh, so um, I think it'll be fine and I'm gonna just kind of dry them one by one because there's still some ice you can also do like sometimes I just rinse it with a little bit of warm water not hot just let all the ice um, wash down and then dry it with a paper towel. Okay. And we'll start with the garlic, our favorite ingredient. Actually, this is not my favorite ingredient, but it, it just works pretty well with the shrimp. Oh, you know what I want to do? Hold on. Okay, I'm not going to chop it by hand because that's a lot of garlic and I'm just too lazy to do that. So I can put the pure garlic in my little handy um, chopper. I like to use big food processor, but there is no need for that. Actually, my favorite tool is knife because you can do pretty much everything with that. But sometimes I use um, this little chopper because it makes it really Voila. And uh, the thing that uh, I use that also is that I like how it, ch it chops the garlic. You can bring it closer. Because it's like finely chopped and evenly. And I don't need to slave for that for 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna add some olive oil. I got this olive oil at Trader Joe's today. I hope it's good. Mmm, smells good. All right. Um, so the dish that I, the recipe that I saw in um, Anthony Bourdain show, no reservation, I think, no reservation, yeah. So they added a lot of oil, maybe like quarter cup of oil. Started with oil. 
medium high temperature and then add lots of garlic yeah that's a lot it's about one head so that's a beautiful scenario here garlic sizzling and I want to just turn down the temperature a little bit because I don't want to burn the garlic I want to soften up and like sweeten but not not burn it because if you burn the garlic then it's gonna be bitter and you don't want that all right I dried my shrimp it's pretty good and I'm going to add it to our garlic and turn the heat up a little bit because uh, uh, they are still pretty cold and it's going to turn the temperature down in the pan so we need uh, a little higher heat and that's it not too much and uh, I'm going to add a little thyme 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 okay so with the with that you can they see this? Yeah. So you just take that stem and take the leaves off. Like that and add because we don't need the big stem. And it's always easier to do like opposite direction like that there and add. And I'm going to just put the lid on and let it cook for a minute that's it you don't need to do much so this is actually like I thought that these shrimp were cooked because they were red but it's not cooked um, it's red shrimp uh, I don't know from where but like wild red shrimp that's how it said um, at the package so I'm going to add a little bit of paprika to give it a little more color I love the color that it gets like the reddish color from paprika and hopefully they are cooked Gonna stir a little bit. And have a little more time. So this dish is good. Um, I mentioned already, probably <laughs> with rice or pasta. Spaghetti will be good. Um, or you can just get some nice bread, ciabatta or baguette, and just um, dip that bread in the sauce and enjoy that. So that's it. It was uh, pretty much ready in um, five minutes, five, six minutes. And you have your beautiful garlic shrimp. Very flavorful and tasty. So this was our garlic shrimp. If you like this episode, hit the subscribe button and let me know uh, how it turns out. See you next time.